So is it possible to root your Christmas tree after Christmas? We're going to find out. So to set the stage here, I'm going to tell you how this won't work. And then we're going to go through several steps that need to take place in order for this to actually work if it will work and why those steps are absolutely critical in this process. So after cutting my Christmas tree down and putting some pictures on my social media pages, you guys came back and said, hey Mike, are you trying to root a Christmas tree? Well, I thought it was kind of funny, but then as the season was rolling on, I thought, I wonder if it's possible to actually root my Christmas tree after it's been in my house for a couple weeks. So I scoured the internet and I found several videos of people trying to root their Christmas tree. But what did I see? I saw them take their tree out, dig a hole in the ground, stick the tree in the ground, and then walk away saying, that's it, we did it. We've regrown our Christmas tree. But there was no actual evidence that it was successful. Between you and me, it wasn't successful. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. The reason this is not possible in the manner that these people did it was this. That tree gets put in the ground and then it sits there in the cold ground for the rest of winter. Nothing is happening at that trunk throughout the cold winter. It is not growing roots. It's sitting in a cold ground. It's probably not even rotting because there's no real microbial activity going on at that time. It's just a cold ground or a frozen ground. And so it's just a, a dormant tree that's been cut off at the roots sitting in the ground. All of a sudden spring comes around and the weather starts warming up. Well, any buds that are on the tree that are viable are going to start trying to open up and grow, but there's no roots to support it. So the tree is just going to wither and die. It takes much longer for those roots to grow down in there. Now, let's show you how this could be possible and then go out and give it a try. In order to make this successful, we're going to need one secret weapon, and that is bottom heat. So this is gonna essentially be one big hardwood cutting. This whole tree is just a giant hardwood cutting. And as you guys have learned from my other videos, we don't cover hardwood cuttings. They don't need humidity. They're not losing moisture from the branches when they're cold. Now it's been in my house for a few weeks and so that's gonna change things a little bit. But once we throw it back out in the cold, it should just be fine. It shouldn't be losing moisture from the leaves. Everything's just gonna shut down again. But if we apply some bottom heat for the rest of the winter, we will give it what it needs to start growing those little undifferentiated cells down at the stump and attempt to root throughout the rest of winter in that warm rooting medium. Then the theory is by spring, when the weather starts warming up, it's got roots to support the top growth. So let's get out there and see if we can make this happen. All right, so we're out here at my power meter and I had a few uh, outlets wired into this for the home building process. We haven't gotten to that yet, so I've got my heat mat plugged into one of them. Now I've got two settings on that heat mat, and that's 60 degree or 60 watts and 120 watts. So I'm going to probably start at the 60 watts, and we'll do some temperature readings and see where we're at. Optimally, the temperature would be around, I don't know, somewhere in the high 70s for rooting. However, it is freezing cold out here at times and i don't know what we're gonna get with even with the 120 watts so if we could just keep it above 50 you know and just allow things to slowly root then we'll be doing okay and as the months warm up the temperature will warm up and we should get some roots
here we are, got it all set up. It is stuck in this big, I think it's a 20 gallon pot in fir bark. I watered it in really well, packed that down around there. You saw that I put some uh, rooting hormone on that. I don't know, we'll see. It looked pretty dried up. It felt lightweight, but time will tell if this is gonna work in any manner, this is gonna be the way that it's gonna work. And it's gonna have to use bottom heat to make it happen. So let's give it a little bit of time. We've got this guy braced up real good and uh, we'll come back in the spring. All right, so today is May 17th and I think we finally arrived at a decision on this Christmas tree. Are you guys ready to go check it out and see if it rooted? Let's go. Oh boy, well, here you are and there you have it, guys. <laughs> My Christmas tree turned a brilliant orange rust color. Isn't that beautiful? absolutely gorgeous and if you believe me and think i'm dead serious then you got another thing coming to you so it doesn't appear that we had success but we're going to go ahead and pull this thing out of here right now and just see if any activity at all happened at that root level now i did give it my, my best shot i just saw a little hornet fly out of there so we're gonna have to be careful but i did give this my best shot but having said that this sat in my house a dry hot house with a wood stove going for several weeks during the Christmas season before we brought it out and tried to root it. Had I not done that, we might have had better success. I don't know. I have a feeling we would have, but you know, you never know unless you try it again on another tree at another time. But this is how this one turned out. Let's get this out of the pot. <laughs> And there it is, guys and gals. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I don't even have callus on that thing. There is absolutely no activity in that little Christmas tree. It did not root. It did not form callus. It did not do anything that we wanted it to do. It did turn a beautiful bronze color, though. <laughs> so I guess we got our answer for now. It's kind of like that old, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Pop? The world may never know. Can you root a Christmas tree? The world may never know. I'm still not completely out on this one. I think there's got to be a way. I just haven't done it yet. But it doesn't work that way. And that was a pretty good shot at it. Other than the fact that it sat in my hot, dry house for two weeks with decorations on it. So when I see people post videos saying you can regrow your Christmas tree, they go out into the field, they plant it, and they walk away... I'd be a little skeptical if I were you, but we still, you know, there's always more years and time to try and different things we can do. But there it is for now, a beautiful bronze tree that I can throw on the burn pile. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something, even though we didn't have all the roots and all the success we wanted. I know I learned something. I'm glad I did this experiment. And now I know that it won't work in that manner. So if you did like this video and you want to see more of them, Hit the like button below, subscribe if you want to follow along, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. Bye.